Accused serial killer Billy Shamir Mir was convicted of capital murder this afternoon. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Blake Hansen. It's 9 o'clock. Shamir Mir was convicted of killing 81-year-old Lou Harris in her Dallas home in 2018. The first trial in this case ended with a hung jury, but there was a much different outcome today at the retrial. Fox 4's Stephen Dow joins us live with the verdict and what happens next. Stephen? Billy Shamir Mir will spend the night in the Dallas County Jail now as a convicted murderer. The victims' families say that they are relieved, but also say this is just the beginning. Today, he went from being an alleged felon to a convicted killer. Five months ago, there was a hung jury in Billy Shamir Mir's first trial for the murder of Lou Harris. Thursday, it took a jury in the retrial less than an hour to convict him. His sentence, life in prison without parole. You know, but justice was done. And it's not going to bring these mothers back. And, uh, and but, uh, uh, you know, this is step one. He's accused of killing 18 elderly women by posing as a worker or caregiver at nursing homes and following women home from stores like Walmart. Prosecutors said Shamir Mir stole his victims' jewelry and sold them online for thousands of dollars. The trial was only for the murder of Lou Harris, but the prosecution also introduced the jury to Mary Brooks, who was killed in 2018, and Mary Bartell, who survived her attack. Dallas yeah, County DA John Cruzo himself gave part of the closing arguments Thursday. Glenn Fitzmartin was the lead prosecutor. We know that this pillow right here was used as the instrument of her death. I don't care how those marks got there, this way, this way, this way, or that way. They're there. What woman is going to put these lay down, flat down on her, on her pillow and rub her lipstick on here and then just flip it over and leave it there? The defense for Shamir Mir rebutted that the state did not meet its burden of proof, saying in some of the videos you did not see Shamir Mir in the car following the victim's home from the store. Not a single ring doorbell. Not a single nosy neighbor at a at a um, apartment complex, at a retirement community, in a close knit old neighborhood. Not a single person or shred, sliver, or anything of evidence that places Mr. Shamir Mir or anyone that may or may not meet his physical description on the days in question. While Shamir Mir is accused of killing 18 women, these families know there likely won't be a trial for each of their loved ones. So for many, this verdict and this case is closure. These mothers and grandmothers and sisters and aunts and friends that we lost, they all were independent. They had a value and Shamir Mir took that. And we just want to make sure that it doesn't happen again. There will be another murder trial, and it will go before the same judge that Shamir Mir went before this week. The district attorney and the prosecution did not make any comment following the verdict. Uh, and as for Shamir Mir's defense, he says that they respect the jury's decision but does not accept the verdict.